on some real, real shit. The topic for this video is more than generally is why does fucked up shit in the world happen most generally not necessarily any specific case not necessarily me putting my god-given focus and wasting my attention on some other subject no but I, me, this response stemming from myself going through some type of life process where I myself have found myself repeatedly asking the question of the standard why, 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 why is this happening? And within your life process, you may find yourself doing the same thing, asking why, different whys to different things. But just the, what is like, you know, but just like, you know, the basic why of life, the simplest why, you know, not necessarily anything particular, but just why. I like I, I understand where that you know that could be coming from. So the thing I wanted to break down here was why could fucked up things happen in the world generally? And aside from you know all the different representations and the different perspectives and inter interpretations of what the real God is. Maybe the fucked up shit happens because how we're, you know, really relating to that, that, that real principle on a forgotten universal level. So it's like, you know, it, it's either we're ignoring God, we are... We're underestimating God or we're shitting on God low key. And from that, aside from the misrepresentation of that, from that, what gets born is a confusion effect. The effect itself is confusion, but we don't necessarily know that subtle subconscious confusion is an underlying theme in our lives without any of the cop-out shit because I get it how someone could just have like this minor replication within a fragmented realm of whatever the fuck they're obsessed over when that's just like and ironically within their polarity and paradox they still have you know tidbits of confusion and that's just what it is you know that's just what it is I'm like I'm not trying to like you know I'm just I'm just like I'm just kind of like breaking down the ignorance that's inherent within the the sociology of the different nations that there are so and within within the underlying theme of confusion that all the circumstances are kind of their own pages in our life book already you know, regardless of, you know, the, you know, the detrimental capitalistic mind, because obviously like, you know, there's one just detrimental approach where it's just like, let's just like, you know, make money off of like possibly anything. But within the process of that, you know, there's like all these like, you know, sneaky contracts. And if there's no transparency in the sneaky contracts, you won't necessarily have true prosperity you won't necessarily have true harmony within how you think things should run smoothly. They could run smoothly, but we're leaning against the principles and how it could run smoothly. And we kind of do know that. And we're kind of fickle with that, you know, because we have our own, we have our own, you know, fragmented biases on how something should be that only like suit our individual, you know, quote unquote, selfish needs, end quote. This is how some people are operating. This is like the psychology of the matrix we're coming out of. And if we don't understand how we're moving into something new, then how do you expect to even like maintain comfort or pleasure to begin with on a different note? So within all of that being said, 
And, and I did another underground message this rising and it spanned it about an hour more or less. And, but the thing was, it's quality, it's consistent quality. And it's just, I, I lean towards underground because honestly, like it's not about getting caught up in the polarity of like who has more quantity. It's about how there's just naturally different channels of expression that's not necessarily just the digital world, but obviously the digital world is, is um, it's evolving in so many different ways per how the, per how the globe's nations are isolating themselves per their biases or how the globe's nations are actually fucking on one small fucking anomaly coming together on some real harmonic shit. But that's the thing, that particular trend of intelligence is, it's not necessarily like being instilled within the fucking current sociology as much as we'd like to think, as much as we'd like to fucking be all kumbaya and send these fucking intentions out to the world while we're just fucking, you know, farting out kava juice and just fucking, you know, being like, you know, um, modern hippies. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying generally there's a lack of critical intelligence and I've proven that quality wise, like for like a long time now. But we don't, the, the, we, some people just don't have like ears to listen and eyes to see for whatever their reason is. No matter what they fucking, you know, no matter what they put up as a front or a facade, because there's fucking critical differences in the fucking new age teachers. And there's critical differences in, you know, who's like a genuine entrepreneur these days. And that's fucking rare respectively so it's like the main little topic is right here is like why do you fucked up things happen because we're underestimating god we're not reciprocating with god and we're on a general energetic level for better or for worse we're away from god in a nuanced way without the false misrepresent without the false representations of it and within that we don't necessarily have working faith we don't necessarily have an action within our um we don't really have like action associated faith we could say we have faith we could say we're doing this for this that and the third but if that was the case then why could like why could something like of an uncertainty that could that that there's a possibility of something bad happening in the future why would that happen you know what is god's reasoning for like fucked up shit happening what's god what's god's reasoning for fucked up shit happening and how could we casually prevent that you know and i think we could casually prevent that by us not underestimating God, because God does have the power to compensate it, but we're so deluded and have our own delusions, we're far away from that working reciprocatory relationship. Literally, we're far away from that. So it's like, why does fucked up shit happen in the world? Motherfucker, I've asked that question for like the longest time, and it's, I can see where other people are coming from, you know? Generally. And within that being said, it's like from the underlying theme of confusion on how we shit on God, all the other circumstances that play out from the underlying theme of confusion, all the other out-of-pocket detrimental thoughts and emotions come out of that confusion. Like everybody's like detrimental emotions if they're playing with some type of confusion that they don't necessarily know they're playing with. That's you, there's a particular type of stemming on how like all these miscellaneous, you know, negative emotions come to be. It's because there's an underlying theme of confusion and how you're just shitting on God for whatever reason. I'm not claiming I'm God. I've, I, I'm like seven years quality underground podcast. And I'm, I'm, and I, I respond on a different level to other people's challenges. I don't initiate. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a more holistic spirit and I'm responding to particular things. So like any, like, it's like, ironically, like a certain community could say, I'm like, not who I am yet. They're still acting out of a unique fear. 
and they're not living the like the totality of who the fuck they are, you know. So it's like it's 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 like a it's a niche hypocrisy, you know. It's a niche ass fucking hypocrisy. And cuz they don't know what I'm responding to. There's a there's a bigger holistic thing going on. I don't initiate. There's a particular type of awareness. And within that particular type of awareness, I'm answering